There's one thing you're probably not training that can drastically improve your jump height, your running speed, and your general athleticism. That one thing is ankle stiffness. Now, this might sound like a bad thing, like something you wouldn't want, but in fact, ankle stiffness is a very positive thing for athletes, and we're gonna explain why in this video. But first, I'm gonna demonstrate how important it is by jumping over this bin, and I'm gonna do it in such a way that I'm barely bending my legs. I slept on the floor with my son last night and very achy and this grass is squishy and slippery. What could possibly go wrong? Now watch carefully friends because the devil is very much in the details. As I'm jumping, I'm not bending my leg at any point. Rather, I'm just taking off from running. This kind of goes against what we intuitively assume about jumping. So what's going on here? What am I talking about? What is ankle stiffness? Well, ankle stiffness basically refers to the strength of your ankle tendon, its ability to return energy to the ground. And this is much more important than most people think. So if I told you I wanted you to train in order to be able to jump over railings and dustbins, you might do that by doing heavy, heavy squats. And this makes sense. It's been shown in studies to definitively improve jump height. But this is normally measured as a static jump with a counter movement where you drop down into a deep squat and then launch up in the air, a vertical jump. This isn't actually how we jump when we're playing sports or doing something like parkour, where you're usually running and moving at the time of jumping. In that scenario, you normally jump from a running position. So you're usually jumping from one leg and you normally have very minimal contact time with the ground. You place your foot down and launch yourself up in the air. There's no amortization phase. You're not dropping deep down into a squat and then jumping up. That's not how people dunk. And therefore doing heavy, heavy squats is gonna have limited transfer to this kind of performance. And that's why we need to focus on something else, ankle stiffness. It's not about generating power, it's about your ability to transfer power from a run into a jump. This is something that JC Santana pointed out to me by slowing down videos and showing me how the athletes actually performed. The same thing goes when you're sprinting. Studies actually show that when sprinting, there's actually far less plantar flexion and dorsiflexion than you might think. Your feet stay relatively static. Instead of actually pushing off the ground, they're more bouncing off the ground. You're running like you're on blades. So again, ankle stiffness is really important here. To train this, we need to train the tendons to make them stronger and stiffer. But at the same time, we also need to train the calves. This is essentially a isometric contraction for the calves where they're trying to hold the joint in place so that the tendon can rebound and return that energy. What this doesn't mean is avoiding any kind of ankle mobility training because mobility and this kind of stiffness, ankle hysteresis, those are separate things. So now you might be wondering what specifically can you do to train your ankle stiffness? And well done, you're asking the right questions. There's a few exercises. The one that JC Santana himself recommends is the truck push. So go and find a parking lot and a big heavy truck. He actually made a video on this channel about that. So this is a great workout. It's concentric only, meaning it isn't that fatiguing. It's something that nearly anyone can do, even if they have mobility or joint problems. It's a great overlooked form of training that can replace a squat for many people and actually have more benefits for your athleticism. You can do the same thing with your car if you make sure to find a nice quiet track somewhere and have someone sitting in the driving seat to steer. Don't do it without that because that can go wrong. I once actually pushed my car a bit on a hill and I had to chase after it and it very nearly ended badly for me and my wife would have killed me. Of course, if you have a sled at your gym, then you can push or pull that and that'll work equally well. This is also a lovely short range movement, relatively low impact. What you're doing is getting lots and lots of blood flowing to those tendons because tendons have a lesser blood supply than muscle. This is a great way to fortify them. And it's what the Athletic Truth Group and Ben Patrick talk about all the time. So, so many reasons to do truck pushing, sled pushing. An alternative is jump rope. Now jump rope is a fantastic tool used by many athletes, particularly boxers, primarily as a form of cardio. Jump rope is fantastic cardio, of course, but it's also great for staying light on your feet. It's great for your hand-eye coordination and even better, it builds ankle stiffness. So you can build the ankle stiffness and rebound into the ground for sprinting, for jumping and see great improvements in this area. And today's video just so happens to be sponsored by Crossrope. Crossrope make what are, in my opinion, the very best quality jump ropes. They're made from a proprietary material that is not only really durable, but doesn't tangle when you leave it on the ground, and that feels nice and weighty as it goes round. The best part, though, is that the ropes are also weighted, so you can choose to have a nice light rope if you want to practice fast jump rope, and, or you can use a heavier one if you want to get an even more full body workout, train those shoulders as well, and actually get your heart rate higher and burn more calories even more quickly. You can clip these in and out extremely easily, which is a great feature. And you can even track your progress on the app, especially if you get the amp handles, which actually track the number of jumps you do. 
Cross rope also offers a 60 day trial period, a return window where if you don't like the ropes, you can return them with no questions asked. So there's no risk at all. If you want to give cross rope a go for yourself, then viewers of the channel can get 15% off a jump rope by using code BIONEER. And now on with the show. Another option is one of my favorite exercises, the 100 up or high knees, high knee. So basically what you're gonna do here is you're gonna stand on the spot and you're going to run, bringing your knees up nice and high. Start off nice and gentle because this can be quite a big impact on the ankles. But over time, you can turn this into more of a sprint. It's a fantastic way to get yourself really gassed out really quickly. It's something you can do anywhere. It's great for your hip stability, but of course it's also great for that ankle stiffness. You've got bunny hops where you're bouncing on the ground. This is great for getting springiness all through your lower body. And then of course you can just sprint. Sprinting of course is great for ankle stiffness. And then you've got other options like hill sprints, which are not only lower impact, not only more of a challenge with more resistance, but also actually put your ankles into more of a stretch position as you're performing the exercise. Or you can use bounds where you're sprinting, but taking the biggest possible jump with each step making it into an even more bouncy and explosive form of movement. Those are just a few examples to get started with. I will say take it gentle to start with because this can be quite a lot of impact if your ankles aren't used to it. That's the whole point. Build up to that, get used to it, and eventually you're going to be less likely to injure your ankle and far better at exploding off the ground, sprinting, jumping, and all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below if ankle stiffness is something you already train, if it's something you're going to consider training now, and what else you'd like me to cover in future. If you want a training program that takes care of things like ankle stiffness, as well as mobility, cognitive performance, strength, everything else, rotational strength, all the stuff that's usually missed, then check out my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training 2.0. There's a link in the description down below and it's on discount for the rest of January. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.